President of the Jamaica Medical Doctors Association, Dr. Elon Thompson, believes this is a clear demonstration that every Jamaican is vulnerable and should take more personal responsibility in trying to prevent the spread of the highly contagious respiratory illness. The health minister Tuesday night reported that the 13-year-old boy who is from Kingston was one of two newly confirmed cases. His mode of transmission is under investigation. Dr. Thompson reacted to the news a Tuesday night, explaining that there are several lessons to be learned. Well, certainly this means that there's, we're all at risk in the country, and we have to take steps to make sure that we reduce our risk. I don't know if it should be a wake-up call, or it is going to be uh, a message to persons to understand that you know this virus can affect anybody. So we need to be vigilant, we need to um, look at credible news, and, and just adhere to physical distancing, you know, and proper hygienic practice. We cannot emphasize this any more than we have been. Um, I mean, it's so important at this time. Meanwhile, the Ministry of Health says of the 38 confirmed cases of the coronavirus in Jamaica, three are still under investigation. 24 are imported cases and 11 import-related. In addition to the 13-year-old boy, the other new case is a 48-year-old man from St. Elizabeth with a travel history from Boston and Atlanta in the U.S. He arrived in the island on March 24. The Health Ministry Tuesday reported that one of the recovering COVID-19 patients at the University of the West Indies had died. The patient reportedly suffered a cardiac arrest. Three victims have died from COVID-19 so far. Carrie Simpson, Frontline News.